This girl is on fire. Hey! <laughs> Can you drum? <laughs> Boom! Here I am in two, five, four. Not knowing in my small head and my young self back then that money comes and it can finish just like this. The money was gone and so that was me. So I decided to run away from home. Hello guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon where you are in the world. My name is Grace Nagar. This is my YouTube channel and if you haven't been here before, please go down there to the notification bell, press it, subscribe, like and share. Then you get to know what amazing channel this is where you just come and hear stories get to know life in dubai and get to know how dubai is anything you can think of of diaspora and when i speak of diaspora i mean uae because that's where i'm living at the moment so guys welcome back and please you better take your popcorns where you are because this is a just mm, mm, good story that you just don't want to miss so yeah and today i feel on fire as you can see, this girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. Hey! <laughs> That's not for me. Forget about it. It's, it's just, you know, it's the positiveness that I feel today. I feel blessed. I feel happy. And I feel good. And I just spread this positiveness to you. Who? <laughs> Get all the positiveness, get all the good good vibes. So, all that said and done, guys. Um, I know all of you are wondering from the my last video. If you haven't watched it, just go down below to the latest video that I posted like a few days ago, and get to be updated on the story. So today's video, I'm I know people are wondering out there. I mean, like you got fired. So what happened to you? Like what did you do? I mean. I know <laughs> some of you think maybe I got fired and got a job immediately, which is no, no way. That didn't happen. Um, it's a very funny story. I'll make it so brief. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it short and sweet. So, yeah, like I said, I got fired in the most sweetest way possible. I don't know if most of you have experienced that, but for me, it was the most sweetest way. But I don't regret it. It's... Um, life experience that i didn't expect at that moment i was not okay with it uh, per se i wasn't prepared of the outcome but you know as i speak now i feel like it was meant to happen that way for me to be able to get where i am today so after i got fired so what happened <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen can you drum <laughs> boom here I am in two, five, four, a place where I didn't think that I would go back as soon that I got back to UAE. Like I just got in UAE and a few months down the line, I'm back to two, five, four. And you know, guys, um, when I finished high school, I just joined to hustling. I never went to university, it was my choice. So um, for me, I, I, I like being on the ground. Like, you know, I like, um you know facing life the way it is i, I didn't feel like i needed to uh, go to school back back then although nowadays you know <laughs> you just have to you know life when you grow up life changes and you want to do courses and courses but back then i was like no i don't want to miss school is not my thing so i never went to school so i started hustling directly so after hustle that's when i came to dubai and few months down the line here i am back to kenya and um because i had some of my you know amount of money so i was okay i was okay not knowing in my small head and my young self back then that money comes and it can finish just like this so yes the money finished just like this <laughs> in the span of like few months the money was gone mm, the money was gone and wow what to do you're in Cairo, like in kenya and now money is not there so what is there to do first of all your parents will be like do this do that you'll be like a house 
whatever or you can call it you can do a b c d you're washing utensils washing the houses which is so annoying because you're feeling like oh you're all grown up oh blah 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 so that was me so i decided to run away from home i i didn't say i'm running away from home i just left home and went to you know live with friends so and there i was mm -hmm, trying to to think that i know so much about life <laughs> you know it's so funny when you're young you think you know so much which apparently you're cuckoo upstairs you think you have this life you think life is um you know so good that you can actually live it without your parents you can live it without anybody else telling you like what to do what not to do but girl boy mm -mm. listen to your parents obey your parents that's a commandment from god so please obey your parents they are always um you know they want the best for you apparently apparently that i didn't I, I did know that but you know was a bit rebellious <laughs> so age told me that back then um i need to do what i had to do so i left home and i went to just hustle but that time i was living somewhere in the uh, suburbs so <laughs> life became sweet and i used to just go and have fun so fun was me me i was fun and met friends we we lived life we lived large we lived life that is crazy going out day and night you know like doing nothing no no hustle surviving uh, sometimes in the morning we'd wake up and take water and bread or others we can take um you know tea bag like black tea with bread and you survive and at night you're there in the most amazing clubs in kenya you know you know just enjoying life enjoying life and it came to a time um life was really tough it was totally tough and it started reminding me my life in dubai and how life was in dubai when i was working i was earning my money i had my own respect there's a level that parents put you whenever you are like earning so they you know they don't tell you things because they know you can actually handle yourself because you look responsible you are responsible in a different country alone so um i started missing that life i started missing um being here in uae because i was really responsible apart from me being a bad girl back then i was so responsible i was earning my money i was living alone like i was i was having a good soft life up until i just fucked it up and yeah i'm there in kenya enjoying life and i'm like oh wow my life is not what i want it to be like I, this is not what i want and life became so tough life became so tough until now we were disagreeing with my parents every time they'll call me i'll be this bad person i'll just think that they don't love me so i'll just talk you know not so well on myself so and that happened one year down the line of you know troubles suffering put myself into risk going to police stations you know like you're out there uh you know drinking and having fun you get caught in the police you sleep in the cell like all that bad life and i was like um is this actually what i want I mean I'm a girl and I don't feel responsible of myself so what can I do what can I do to just you know not live like this I need to find myself because I was lost I was rebellious I was running away from my family and I didn't feel like family was important then so I decided you know what I told my sister like I told you guys on my previous video my sister was in Dubai I told my sister, you know what? The life here is so tough. I want to come back to Dubai. And guess what? That is the most biggest decision I've ever made. Or rather, I did make that back then. And it was worth it. So I told my sister, you know what? I want to come back. I will not fail you again. I really want to come back. I cannot stay here. Because the more I stay here, not that my country is a bad place, no. But I could not know where my life is headed at i didn't know i didn't understand what what am i doing with myself i didn't know i caught myself in a meeting and i'm like you know what i need something to do with myself i need to get 
responsible of life you know call my sister and she's like you know what okay so are you willing to work are you serious about work when you're coming back again like you know what i can do the laundry i can wash the toilet you talk speak of anything i will do it i just want to leave can i i want to leave here i just want to leave and start a new new environment um i had already come to dubai so i knew what i'm gonna get i knew what i'm getting myself into so i came back to dubai after some time she sorted me out i came back to dubai and me and myself and i you know at that time i was already focused i knew what i wanted and boom started looking for a job you know summertime in dubai is crazy you can imagine 50 degrees you're looking for a job the good thing i i never used to like tamak tamak like walk around and look for jobs so my sister used to help me also you know look for jobs online and i used to look for jobs as well so i kind of looked for jobs online and one week down the line you know um i found something hotel they called me and they had a position of a waitress a waitress at least this time i'm washing the toilets <laughs> like i said i'm gonna wash the toilet but you know when you were you know when you're just young and naive you, you say things that you know so uh, it's not like washing the toilet is a bad job is that that it's just that i was so desperate i needed something and um here i was <laughs> I came back went for an interview and with my big mouth because i love talking i love i'm a very confident person so i knew if i get into that room i'm gonna go all out it's like no turning back it's now or never so when i went to the interview i i actually rehearsed for that interview for 24 hours because i remember i was i was telling my sister should i look like this should i walk like this is this what i'm supposed to wear should i just you know talk like this when they ask me what, what what about myself what should i say should i say this should i say that so you can imagine all this excitement and all whatnot and guess what i got the job boom i got the job and i'm like you know what this is me this is now i have to make it and here i was i i was avoiding problems and i was avoiding um trouble because i knew trouble was looking for me every time every place i go so i never stand anyone talking you know bad of you know this place you come to me and say what 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 i i never like that so i knew if somebody would do that i would mess up so i i really avoided problems and it's possible i did avoid problems and i worked there for a couple of months and i became a good girl so with time i started training myself as a waitress you know it wasn't easy because that train was crazy it fell a couple of times if you're a waitress and you, the tray has never fallen on your hand, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what have you done to your experience, to your, to your, what do you call it, to your um, to your work experience. Because my tray fell a couple of times, and you know, due to that, um, it kind of it was a good experience because I remember I was a waitress, I was a barmaid, um, I was all that, um, I was ambassador you know it kept growing and growing and growing and um and that was the most exciting thing like to have a change of environment and come and start something and it actually worked and it did and i started working and um life became a bit you know okay and i was now finding myself slowly and slowly and slowly and now i became more smart and tried to try new places new different things so um I tried uh, to stay there for a couple of months to an year for me to be able to get a good uh, review about myself when you're you know when you're going to a new company you need your CV to look good to look like you have experience in most of the places and you need to have a good rapport with your managers supervisors and the owner if it if it's possible and and that happened I actually got um, uh, I got myself to be a good girl and I was and um experience to experience was like i left this company to this company so i left two hotels and then um i decided to start in standalone restaurants so 
standalone restaurant is a bit different to hotels. A standalone is a bit casual than hotels. Hotels is like you need to wear a red lipstick. Your hair needs to be like this. You need to be, you know, the standards are there. And like the uh, standalone restaurants where I can do my hair colored, I can, you know, go with my nails done. That's a standalone restaurant. It's a casual kind of environment. So I decided, you know what? I've been in an hotel industry. Hotel is good because you, you learn so many courses when it comes to hospitality. There's training about hygiene. There's training about um, whatever you can call it, safety measures when it comes to, you know, emergencies, you know. There's all these kind of trainings and that actually made me grow to where I am right now, which I am very proud of because I didn't go to university. So for me, this was actually the best thing I would say compared to, you know. So um, I, I went to start a long restaurant and um, <laughs> ah, life is funny. Life is very funny, you know after leaving kenya coming life has been smooth you see like i've not talked about anything and challenges are there you know when you work there's uh, one or two challenges which are very manageable as a person i did manage and life became so smooth and and life was okay now like life is good i have good relationship with my family and my job is doing well i am i'm doing good my money is coming in well i'm saving up okay and then COVID decided to come. After resigning, I just resigned to the most amazing place. I just resigned to the place that I was working as a salesperson and went to a standalone restaurant. Three months, three months down the line, Corona ending. And guess what?